and I, I definitely think there is space for for uh, allogenic products and and the, the first clinical trials using uh, allogenic CAR Ts in hematological malignancies showed that they could have good complete response rates. Right? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, not exactly as high as autologous, but it's very close to that. Uh, and, and and I think for hematological malignancies where we know that the CAR T cells can do the job in a very short window. You know, I told you like in two weeks they can wipe yeah. out uh, the tumor. Um, I think I think there's definitely a space for allogenic product there because we know that the, the patients is going to reject these CAR Ts as you said. So they have a window of a, a therapeutic window that is fairly short. So so I think for for this type of tumor, there's definitely. Uh, definitely space for allogenic products and right now they are filling the space right and I think yeah. it's also if you think of that as maybe a bridge uh, to bone marrow transplants um, it's uh, it's also I think a good way to, to to think of that we it's unclear yet because we don't have enough long-term follow-up of these clinical trials yeah. how long the response is going to last uh, since they know that the CAR T's are being are gone after after a few weeks or months right uh, so, so that is the first question, and I, I guess in the coming years we'll, we'll have an answer to that. Um, the second question, and this is something that we don't know yet, is how these allogenic modalities are going to work in solid tumors where autologous products are uh, already failing. Right? Yeah. So, and, and so would a few weeks of a therapeutic window enough to cure a solid tumors? Um, this is something that we don't know. Also, you know, to make allogenic products, you you either if you were to, if we were talking about T cells, either you knock out the T cell receptors or you're using uh, T cells that have a defined TCR, like uh, virus specific TCRs, um, and so these uh, cannot really see the tumors with their TCRs, and and while the T cell receptors, you know, attacking. Uh, the tumors are able to do that with a polyclonal response. It means that you need a variety of TCRs that can target uh, uh, heterogeneous tumors. And so now if you remove it and you only have the cars, you don't know how it's going to work in the solid yeah, yeah. tumor. Yeah. And one thing that I'm actively studying in my lab because I'm really fascinated between this crosstalk between the car and the TCRs and how this is going to be important to go after heterogeneous solid tumors.